Together, it's time that we locate your property lines and your property corners. Hello, everyone. It's Mark Scheller. And my first two videos on this topic have over 1 million views. So today, the pressure is on me to go deeper and to share more information with you than ever before. Real estate owners deserve to know exactly where their property lines and their property corners are located. And the best way to determine this is to go out into the field on a mobile device and with three apps that are great at this. So today let's talk about LandGlide. Let's talk about OnX. And let's talk about a newer app that I discovered called Regrid. And oh, 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 as a bonus, I have also hired licensed surveyors to go out and check the accuracy of the advice that I share. Aerial Solutions, Plat Overlays, GPS Data, and a healthy competition to see who is best. All coming at you in three, two, one, let's go. So first let's talk about exactly what it is that we're looking for. This is an example of a typical aerial view. You can get them anywhere. And it's as if we were in a helicopter and we were looking down on your subdivision or your lot. But there are no parcel lines yet. The parcel lines, the lot shapes, it's an overlay, a grid that goes over the aerial view that shows whose property belongs to who. All right, so typical aerial view. And then the magic happens when we can find a parcel map and we turn the parcel maps on. See the green lines? Off, on, off. And then when you zoom in, you can start laying out your property corners, which would be the red A, B, C, and D. So next, let's work towards that. Here are the most popular mapping websites. Many of us love Google Maps, but I went down deep and there's no parcel information. Uh, Apple Maps loved by millions. I could not find a single property corner. Uh, Bing Maps was great. Could not find the boundaries to any lot at all. Uh, Basic Google Earth, same thing, but not a lot of parcel data. Uh, MapQuest, good information, but not for uh, us. Waze was an empty bucket also. Uh, so what I found with these big mapping websites is they're great if you need to know how to drive somewhere or what is the traffic right now, but they're so macro that they won't offer us the micro information about property lines and lot corners that we need. Today, let's evaluate this 1.7 acre home site that I have under contract. The house is being removed so that we can build a new home. Method one in this video is an app called LandGlide. See the red boundary here, and the blue dot will follow your phone's location. LandGlide is $10 a month. Located in Cleveland, Ohio, LandGlide now has parcel mapping for over 3,200 counties with 150 million registered addresses in their database. Next is method two, and it's an app called OnX. This app was designed to help with hiking and hunting, but its plat overlays are so accurate that it can be a very useful tool. Follow the red orange dot for your location, and it even has a tracker to follow your path. OnX is only $3 a month.
On X was originally designed for large parcels. It is also accurate with smaller parcels too. Based in Montana, On X also features topo maps and waypoints. Method three is a newer app called Regrid. So let's test it today and see how it stacks up against the others. See the green and yellow property lines here and the blue dot will follow your phone's location. Regrid is $10 a month. Regrid does an amazing job with lot corners and boundaries. Based out of Detroit, Michigan, I found its aerial imagery to be the best of all the apps that I had tested. Now I have done a walk around with all three apps and marked them with blue, red, and green flags for all four corners. A, B, C, and D. Next it's time to bring in an actual survey team for what many consider to be the most accurate readings. The survey crew showed up with an impressive array of $35,000 worth of equipment. Great guys who worked hard and at the end of the survey, all four corners A, B, C, and D were marked with metal pins. Next, I will measure from the survey pins to each one of the three colored app flags for each corner. And I will record the data. So now we have some data to look at from corner A, corner B up here, corner C, and then corner D. What I did was I measured from the survey pins out to the different colored app flags for each one of those four corners, put the data on a spreadsheet, and here's what it yields. On land glide, the average distance from the pin out to the flag was 43 inches, which was a little larger than I expected because on past videos, Land Glide's been very accurate. The On X app was less. The average distance was 32 inches. And then Regrid was a big pleasant surprise at only 31 inches despite one corner being wildly off base. Now, on this particular site, there were some strong transmission lines. There was even some signal boosting, like internet signal boosting stations on it. And then in the back, there was a 20 foot concrete and steel wall, which limited the phone's ability to communicate with some of the towers. However, here's how I look at it. If a data point of these averages 
if a data point, if a flag is about 36 inches off of the pin and that right side of the property was 415 feet long, that's over a football field. If the app location is 36 inches, then that particular measurement was 99.3% accurate, which is pretty good. And every year, the technology improves and it's getting better and better and better. Conclusions are next. So why do homeowners and home buyers want to know where their property lines are? Sadly, it is the number one source of controversy between neighbors. Whether it's fences or driveways or landscape walls or dog poop or trash cans or lawnmower lines or sump pump water or tree ownership or political signs. Sadly, that list goes on and on and on. It's becoming an epidemic that neighbors enjoy fighting with each other. Now, most people realize that the number one resource for this is a licensed surveyor. So for any kind of legal issue, please hire a licensed surveyor, okay? But there is a problem. The survey I just had done was $1,280 and it took 21 days to get back. Here's the bottom line. People want to do things by themselves. There are millions of DIY do-it-yourselfers out there who even want an approximation of where their property lines are located. And I want to strongly suggest that this is within the homeowner's rights to have this information. And with videos like this, we can quite literally and affordably put that information right on the tips of your fingers. I actually have written two more videos on this topic, so subscribe for more thought-provoking content. And oh, oh, one last thing. I want to be crystal clear. I have not received not even one penny from any of the apps mentioned in this video. Thank you for your attention, everyone. This is Mark Scheller signing out and leaving the property.